3 Hyundai Palisade. You never get a second chance to make a first impression is an old saying, but it certainly still holds true for most people and products. It would seem that Hyundai had this in mind when it introduced the three-row Palisade SUV for the 2020 model year. We were immediately impressed by its functionality in carrying both passengers and cargo, as well as its upscale and luxurious trimmings. Along with its corporate sibling, the Kier Telluride, the Palisade immediately challenged the status quo for three rounded size SUVs and hasn't looked back. For 2023, the Palisade isn't looking to make a second impression. It's just growing in a way that might make you take a second glance. Hyundai's biggest SUV gets revised front-end styling that connects more closely with the look of the brand's other models. Specifically, there's a new, more imposing front grille that takes what we've seen on the Santa Fe and Tucson in a slightly more refined direction. The LED daytime running lights also blend into the grille more seamlessly and the headlight clusters themselves are better integrated into the front bumper. The rear and side profiles haven't changed at all, so the only way to tell if you're looking at the 2023 Palisade when it's in profile will be some new multi-spoke wheels. But there is a new Palisade XRD trim level. It closely matches what we've seen from the Santa Fe and Tucson Zerts. That means a darker grille, darkened lower door trims, darkened 20-inch wheels, a black roof rack, and black full leather seats inside. All Palisades also benefit from a new instrument panel design and other minor upgrades, such as a more powerful wireless charging pad and a digital key system that now works with both Android and Apple phones. The Palisades segment is chock full of competitors, including a compelling offering in the Telluride from sister company Kier. Hyundai hopes the new looks and some of the interior changes will pique your interest more than rivals such as the Honda Pilot, Toyota Highlander, and Volkswagen Atlas. Check out our test team's expert rating to get the full rundown on its pros and cons. What the Palisade lacks in all-out performance it more than makes up for with a competent and well-rounded skill set. Accelerating from a standstill to 60 miles per hour takes 7.6 seconds, which is an average time for a three-row SUV. High-speed pausing can be done with confidence. In our emergency braking tests, the Palisade demonstrated strong and predictable braking. In more routine driving, the brake pedal is easy to control for smooth stops. Handling and steering are less of a strong point, but the big Hyundai rarely feels sloppy or out of sorts as you drive around turns. Thanks in part to a smooth shifting 8-speed automatic, the Palisade is a stress-free companion in both city and highway driving. The Hyundai Palisade blurs the lines between your luxury and luxury thanks to a well-appointed and comfortable interior for all its passengers. Though a few of the controls on the center stack are a bit of a reach, everything is laid out well and simple to understand. The driving position offers a commanding view out the front and sides, and the somewhat limited rear visibility can be offset with the optional surround view camera system. Rear passengers will also like the Palisade. The rear doors open wide, and you can easily slide the optional second row captain's chairs up and out of the way by pushing a button. Once done, there's a clear path to the third row seat. The Palisade comes equipped with plenty of advanced driver assist features, and most of them work great. Our Test Palisade's adaptive cruise control system operated smoothly in traffic, and the steering assist system did a good job of centering the car within the lane. The blind spot warning system can be oversensitive, and the available turn signal camera display is gimmicky and distracting to use, but all other driver aids are pretty calm. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity is standard, and numerous USB-C ports are spread across all three rows although only one, an old USB-A, can be used for phone connectivity. The 12.3-inch center touch screen looks sharp, and it comes with navigation that offers several useful features. Limited and Caligrahi trims come with a head-up display and rear seat intercom features. Both are useful. Sound quality from the upgraded 10-speaker sound system is decent but not outstanding. I'll leave you second like my father.